Ford shares sliding 6% today after reporting disappointing Q4 earnings. CEO Jim Farley saying in a statement that the company left $2 billion in profits on the table. Senior Autos reporter Praz Romanian got the chance to speak with Farley, who joins us now. Tough quarter for Ford indeed. Yeah, really rough quarter there. You know, they had a, a EPS miss. You mentioned there, Farley saying $2 billion left on the table there in, in profits. Net income down 90% from a year ago. Just <sighs> not doing so hot, so they were suffering still from that. You know, last year they really had a rough uh, chip crisis there with those trucks sitting on the lots, unable to be delivered uh, to dealers. So, you know, that was a big problem for them. Uh, but Farley says this transformation is still happening, will take some time. They need to bring those costs down pretty, pretty, pretty significantly. And I spoke to him today, earlier today at, a, at an event, and here's what he had to say about that. Be patient with Ford. We, we are under double transformation. Some things are going really fast. Like we're now number two in EV, you know, the, the, the lightning is sold out for like another year. On the other hand, the industrial system, purchasing, supply chain, our manufacturing, our engineering, we just have to get a lot of costs out. It funds the whole future of the business. And, you know, like fourth quarter is a good example. We lost 100,000 units because our, we just couldn't get chips. We can't let that happen. So uh, I think investors, you know, we're going to be a great and we announced the 80 cents dividend too. Uh, so we're committed to giving cash back to the shareholders. But we're a growth company, um, and it's going to take a while uh, on the industrial side, but boy, is Ford going to be a powerful company. So optimistic there for 2023. The EV sort of rolling out more growth there. Uh, and also good news from today with the IRS reclassifying the Model Y with the SUV designation, meaning it's the $80,000 price cap for the federal tax rate. So that's a big deal for them. So, you know, kind of. Kind of took a little bit of those losses today off with that ruling, but still a rough day.